The Aramco IPO, is it going to happen anytime soon? We're going to ask that question on today's Inside AB. I'm Eddie Taylor and I'm joined today by Cheyenne Shaquille. So Shay, it looks like the Aramco IPO is going to be delayed yet again. What are some of the reasons why it's going to be pushed back into 2019? Well, foremost on the, on the number of reasons is that they have decided not to go with the New York Stock Exchange. The litigation and risk requirements that the exchange was asking for um, have left the Saudis looking at London and Hong Kong uh, to list that. Uh, now, before that even happens, before they narrow it down to those two, they have to convince uh, investors that, you know, what the actual value, value of the company is. Um, and that's going to be quite a... A cumbersome process. That's, going to, that's a long process, so that's going to sort of push it back. And there's also the question about emerging market status. That's going to have an impact as well. Absolutely. I mean, what Sa- what Saudi Arabia is expecting is that in June it will be promoted to an emerging market uh, uh, status uh, f- through the MSCI uh, mm-hmm. Emerging Market Index. Now, what that means is that there's a projected amount of sixty-eight billion dollars that are supposed to flow into Saudi Arabia if you know that does end up happening. Of course, it'll happen sometime in 2019. Uh, the decision gets made this year. But if it does manage to attract the $68 billion, then that is further incentive to not rush the Aramco IPO decision this year. So they could keep it actually on their own local market without bothering on the Tadawal, without bothering to go into the international yeah. exchange. Yeah, I mean, if they're already going to be on the Tadawal, then they can wait to see where to list internationally. Okay, I mean, revenue is obviously another big point, And there's a, other, other revenue questions that are now coming into play as well for Saudi, aren't there? Yeah, I mean, the, the entire point behind listing Aramco uh, was to raise money for Saudi's transformation projects. Now, with oil, oil hit $68 last week. Um, some are saying it might actually go to $80, which would cross Saudi Arabia's break-even producing point. And there's regional instability coming back into the equation now, which might even push it up to $80 Absolutely, even yeah. quicker than we perhaps thought. Yeah, a, a lot quicker. Um, I mean, um, the, the, the conversation that's been emerging out of you know some of the world's bigger powers is what's pushing uh, oil to its uh, its recent highs, its three-year highs. Um, now, if if that revenue from the oil keeps coming in the way it is, um, that would make bond issuances that Saudi Arabia has been tapping into so far uh, an increasingly attractive option because it's much cheaper debt. And then Sukuk bonds on top of that, which are even cheaper. So at the end of the day, if uh, when you want to list a $2 trillion company, but only 5% of it, you'll get about 100 to $200 billion. Um, is it really worth going through the effort of trying to list that company in such a short period of time? So basically, it's a question of urgency now. If they, if they were doing it, if the decision was taken maybe a year, 18 months ago, when oil was under $50 a barrel as a means of generating revenue and balancing budgets, mm-hmm. those questions are kind of off the table a little bit when oil goes through. Through Absolutely, the they're, they're, a bit more, they're a bit more comfortable with the scenario as it exists right now. Yeah, and the price of oil when it goes high, reform agenda always kind of dips a little bit, doesn't it? Yeah, and I mean, you know, the two trillion dollar question right now is uh, uh, smart money would say is not to rush this decision. I'm sure we're going to be watching this one even more. I feel as though we've talked about nothing else at Arabian Business other than the Aramco IPO for a couple of years. But thanks again for watching us on Inside AB. If you've got any comments or opinions on this story, don't forget to comment below. Join us every day at 10 a.m. for more. Thanks for watching.